Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Cullivan and this is math lesson number 17. Today you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil for this lesson and I would like you to number the paper 1 through 12. We have 12 math problems to do today. Now if you don't have a piece of paper and a pencil with you, that's okay. Pause the video, go get the things you need, number your paper, and start the video when you're ready to go. Okay, so what are we going to do today in math? We are going to practice telling time to the hour. This is our second lesson on telling time. <clears throat> Just as a review, there are two hands on the clock that we are looking at. The long hand is called the minute hand, and the short hand is called the hour hand. When you look at the hour hand, it's pointing to the hour, and that's the first number we say when we're telling time. The minute hand is the long hand, and it points to how many minutes have passed on the hour. So far, boys and girls, we have only learned to tell time when the minute hand is pointing to the 12. That means it's o'clock, and no minutes have passed the hour yet. Let's look at this clock, boys and girls. There is a red hand on the clock. Remember, that's the seconds, and we're not paying attention to that right now. You'll learn about that in third grade. So look at this clock. The minute hand is straight up to the 12, and the hour hand is pointing to the 3. What time is it, boys and girls? It's 3 o'clock. That's right, and there are two different ways where you can write three o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to the three, that's the hour, and o'clock is because the minute hand is pointing straight up to the 12. Let's try another one. Look at this one, boys and girls. The hour hand is pointing to the 10, and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. What time is it? 10 o'clock. That's right. Very good. It is 10 o'clock. Let's look at this next one. The hour hand is the little hand. You know what I always think about? If we were being polite, we would always let the little kids go first in line. We always let the little kids have their turn before the big kids, right? So always look at the little hand first, boys and girls. That's the hour. And this one's pointing to the 7. So what time is it, boys and girls? 7 o'clock. That's right. Let's do one more together. You ready? This time, the hour hand is pointing to the 12, and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. They're both straight up at the 12. So what time is it? 12 o'clock. That's right. Good job, boys and girls. It is 12 o'clock. All right. Okay. Now we're going to move on to number four. I'm not going to give you the answers for the rest of these boys and girls. You're going to write them down. But do remember that if Ms. Colvin goes too fast, you can always pause the video to write your answers. And, or you can go back to the video and, and watch it again. If you didn't hear me, okay, that's the good part about a video is that you can go back and watch it again and again. So this is number four. What time is it, boys and girls? Next to the number four, write what time it is. Okay, and here is number five. What time does that say on number five? Okay, and number six, what time is that clock say? Good. Remember, if, you, if I'm going too fast, pause the video and then start it again after you write your answer. Okay, this is number seven. What time is it? Good. This is number eight. What time is it? And 
this is number nine. What time is it? Good job. Ready to go on to number 10? Here we go. There's number 10. What time is it? And here comes number 11. And number 12. What time is it? Good. Okay, boys and girls, for your lesson summarizer, I just want you to think for a minute about how you tell time on the hour. Where are the hands pointing on the clock when it's one o'clock? Where are they pointing when it's seven o'clock? Where are the hands pointing when it's 12 o'clock? Could you teach your little brother or sister or your mom or dad how to tell time on the hour? Think about it. Maybe you could try that. That's it for today. Don't forget to post your work, boys and girls. Thanks for listening. Bye.